<clears throat> all right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome to a game between Infi versus Soen. This game taking place here on Terranistan. Soen has spawned as the blue orc player over here on the top left hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Infi, choosing random, has spawned as the red undead over here on the bottom right. I'm going to go ahead and get things up into that two minute mark. It looks as though we are opening up Altar of Darkness with Crypt. That looks like the Death Knight opening Tomb of Relic should be coming in as well. There you go. Meanwhile, at the opposite end, it is going to be Barracks. There is a Shadow Hunter first coming in from Sowin. All right, so Sowin using the Shadow Hunter first should be using that lightning shield off of the early um, from the early stages to try and creep out creep camps, which you normally would not be able to creep. Shadow Hunter going to go ahead and position himself. Wait for it. There is the engagement. There is that lightning shield. And now just going to go ahead and make its way in right here, trying to get in all of that extra damage. Renegade Wizard also going to be taking a little bit of damage right there. Shadow Hunter, is it going to be able to stay alive? That is the big question, as the Shadow Hunter will be forced to retreat once more. All right, there is that 22 experience or 22 right there, continuing that fight again. And a couple of easy shots should finish off all of those units. No picking up of a Forest Troll Shadow Priest or a Forest Troll Berserker. Not quite sure why. And we also see picking or the dropping of a Scroll of the Beast. Shadow Hunter going to go ahead and go after the remaining units here. Peon now trying to head back. Should be some easy kills to finish off the remaining units. Picks up a Cloak of Shadows. Items should be sold there. Meanwhile, up on the opposite end, Infi doing a fast expansion attempt as though he was playing human, opening up with Dreadlord. All right, Dreadlord going up against a Shadow Hunter. Not your typical game whatsoever. Level two now on the Dreadlord, who has a pendant of energy, leaves behind a Tome of Strength for some reason. And we'll see if the fighting does just still continue. Meanwhile, off on the other end here, Shadow Hunter should be able to finish off that Renegade Wizard. There it goes. Gloves of Haste need to be picked up. You can see the Apprentice Wizard is going to go ahead and get finished off right there. Shadow Hunter sitting at level two has yet to use any of its talent points as of yet. So no abilities. We don't quite know what it's going to be going for. More damage coming across there. Rogue Wizard will get finished off here quickly there. Down it goes, as we now may see some Apprentice Wizards getting finished off as well. All uh, right, there's that Haunted Gold Mine, one Nerubian Tower, double, double uh, abilities on that Shadow Hunter. Meanwhile, Dreadlord does have Vampiric Aura, and the Dreadlord at getting Vampiric Aura, that is not the item that is going to be straight up ghouls attempting to clear out all of these uh, units right here. Let's take a look at the down goal, a couple of these units right here. There's a sleep onto the Shadow Hunter. And this could be a quick, quick use of a scroll of town portal. All right. Healing wave quickly being used, followed up by another surround here. A lot of damage to be had. Ghoul could get taken down right there as well. Shadow Hunter is going to be having a very bad day. Once again, trapped into a corner. Uh, one ghoul could get taken out. It looks like it will get taken out. Level three on the Shadow Hunter right as it teleports away. As the remaining units going to go ahead and teleport back. Renegade Wizard could get finished off right here. Vampiric Aura trying to finish off the remainder as well. Did we perhaps see Sleep and, well, Vampiric Aura? Those are going to be the abilities right there. Rogue will get taken down, followed by that Rogue Wizard. And, well, we already saw some strange openings right from the get-go. All right, Shadow Hunter opening up, um, followed by a Pit Lord. Shadow Hunter is... Well, finally uses its remaining abilities, most likely Healing Wave and Hex. Could be a Serpent Ward. Not quite sure what's gonna, how this is all going to go down. As the Pit Lord, now with Gloves of Haste, using Howl of Terror and going to get into that very front position. All right, Howl of Terror greatly reducing the amount of damage all of these units are dealing, thereby reducing the amount of healing necessary. Slow is being cast across multiple units there. Meanwhile, the... Dreadlord, not the Death Knight, the Dreadlord once again on the move as we need to see where the Dreadlord will try to go. Economic advantage now coming in from Infi. Soin perhaps has not even bothered to scout out that expo, not thinking that an undead player would even try to go for a fast expansion. That is going to come as a big surprise as we are going into Tier 2 right now. We are getting the Graveyard now as well as a Goblin Shredder joins in on the fight here. Kobold Taskmaster is still under the effects of sleep. 
Tome of Strength plus two will quickly get picked up. It looks as though it is level two sleep, level one Vampiric Aura as those units do finish off. Dreadlord now with well, a large amount of intelligence, 29 intelligence with almost 600 mana on a Dreadlord. That is not your typical use there whatsoever. And if we perhaps were actually looking at some sort of carry on swarm strategy, that could work out. Perhaps we'll see a secondary hero that needs a lot more mana to be used. Meanwhile, the Dreadlord still, well, quickly sleeps a Sasquatch, allowing quick finishing off of the remaining units here. All right, there goes the Forest Troll Shadow Priest. Going to finish off that Sasquatch since it was so easily surrounded anyways. That one ghoul, well, should be able to regenerate some hit points here in just a moment. Lightning Shield, well, is it going to be, is an item going to be sold? That is the question. Quickly sells an item, picking up that Lightning Shield here. Meanwhile, let's take a look. Dark Wizard joining in on the fight. Healing Wave or Healing Wards have been dropped down to try and counteract the amount of damage they're being picked up here. Let's take a look at the Shadow Hunter in the backside here. Meanwhile, Howl of Terror units are all trying to continue to make their rounds once more. The Healing Wards doing a good job reducing the amount of units that you need to really creep with, but a skeletal minion is going to go ahead and spot all of this. All right, one grunt could get taken down. There goes the grunt. 83 additional gold getting picked up right there. Pit Lord sitting at level three now could try to go after the remaining units. We also are looking at some troll headhunters joining in on the fight. Dreadlord could cause some problems. Pit Lord running around the move, the, the map really quickly there with that scroll of speed, finishing off some units. That gloves of haste could be useful with i believe cleave and that one pit lord in that very frontline location with cleave could deal a lot of damage all right dreadlord may I'm making its way out ghouls may, following up off over here necropolis well we are mining away once more going into halls of the dead i do not see a second hero as of yet as we are now going into a pocket great hall so in going in for a very very quick expansion now and the peons are already being brought over should be able to finish things up rather fast as the shadow hunter uh, now getting up to level four pit lord sitting at level three peons fully mining away as we're going to be looking at the dark wizard well getting taken down here there it goes let's see what additional items could be dropped potion of invulnerability gargoyles are in the air but well vampiric aura will help if they have any other additional units to try and fight since it is a melee attack while in the air but other than that well the dreadlord's not really that great of a spot to be uh, going across all right there's the carry on swarm there's a lightning shield and that is going to be a lot of death right now all right dreadlord could perhaps is it going to try and finish off some more units there is a well and then snare onto that dreadlord here gargoyle is going to finish off another pee on there we could perhaps be looking at a couple of ensnares there's another carry on swarm dreadlord now sitting at level five it is taking a lot of damage it is getting hexed the dreadlord could be in trouble potion of invulnerability is it gonna try and what is it doing why is it still in this position it still has 15 seconds of invulnerability there's a lightning shield going down there's a carry on swarm and well nope now is the scroll of town portal infi choosing some rather unorthodox timing as the ghouls are now looking to pull back here all right it doesn't look like current resources uh, the population is being populated there it goes now that's getting fixed 50 compared to 49 both sides running off of two bases we are now looking at um, well obsidian statues followed by destroyer upgrades crypt now getting ghoul frenzy as well so those ghouls will be attacking much more quickly but that's just not enough right now the ghouls don't have any additional upgrades either as you can take a look well a little bit more healing coming in all right skeletal mains could be making their rounds out these ghouls well need to get healed up 340 hit points is not that much especially with that pit lord with that gloves of haste it could just come in there and doesn't just start to slice things up rather quickly gargoyles now making their rounds off to the north here pit lord skeletal minions a bunch of units just going after each other here as we could be looking at a shadow hunter getting taken down all right uh, is the dreadlord yes carry on swarm eating through so many units as the units are now looking to back up there's a quick hex there is the 
Pit Lord or is the Dread Lord going to be able to get away? There throws down another Hex again. No easy way of waking him up as there is that temporary invulnerability. Meanwhile, Skeletal Man is trying to finish off, finish off more peons. Dreadlord slowly but surely gaining experience as the ghouls are now going to be getting into position here. All right. Ghoul Frenzy dealing in or getting in so much damage. Ghoul is now trying to back up once more. Squirrel of Town Portal being used. But, well, nothing really being left behind. A couple of ensnares will go down. Two ghouls will get finished off. Dreadlord says, here's a cloud of, well, of bats to try and meet and greet you as the ghouls now trying to do a hit and run tactic. Infi down to 48 supply, retraining up some units. A skeletal minions getting finished off here. Orc Burrows now getting established once again as we could be looking at a couple of gargoyles perhaps trying to shoot down some units again. All right, zero, zero upgrades. It looks as though gargoyles um, are going to be upgraded as well. Gargoyle... Um, I guess that's the creature range upgrade here. Meanwhile, the ghouls have no upgrades at all. Skeletal minions getting taken down as we are now looking at an acolyte, perhaps looking to haunt a gold mine over here on the bottom left. Dreadlord, potion of invisibility being used here. Kodo Beast this doesn't quite notice. There is a sentry ward right here. What is going on? Is that sentry ward going to actually spot the Dreadlord here in just a moment? That could be a potential problem. Perhaps they realize that what is going on here as the Dreadlord is in serious trouble. If he gets revealed, that is going to be some very bad news indeed. Dreadlord now revealed. What happened? Where is he going? There's the Duff Duff appearance. There is the Hex. And with nowhere to run, the Dreadlord will fall at level 5. Pit Lord getting perhaps the killing blow there. Shadow Hunter is at four. Pit Lord is now at four. Dread Lord resurrects. Staff of Teleportation heads back home. Ghouls all here ready to go as the Dread Lord well, tries to get back into the swing of things. It, potions of mana um, quickly being used, picking up the robe of magi and the pendant of um, what pendant of energy right after. Um, dropping them in order to well you know the whole entire strategy quaffing that potion of mana and then you letting um, increasing the amount of mana once again so he's now back up to 420 there you go you see it again now up to 536 uh, a caster dreadlord strategy right here as the dreadlord should be moving on out all right let's see what's going to be happening next goblin shredder now being healed up here there is a necropolis with a, a gold mine getting underway skeletal minions have joined in on the fight well, we are looking at Force or Troll Berserkers and Grunts all here ready to go. The expansion can easily be protected. There is a couple of buildings right here. Meanwhile, the Skeletal Minions are trying to take down some of these peons here. And this might be a lot of Tome of Strength getting picked up by the Pit Lord. A little bit of extra damage right there as the Dread Lord um, well, may be forced to use a Scroll of Town Portal to try and head back. Acolytes trying to repair, unable to do very much. More Acolytes being trained up here. Meanwhile, more Acolytes could be trained up off over here, trying to trade bases. There goes another. There goes the Peons. There goes all of those units again as the Dreadlord is going to perhaps try and get away. Um, let's take a look at this. Dreadlord could perhaps get a big carry-on swarm if the units try to make their way over. Is he going to? Yes. Gets a good group right there. Gargoyle is now trying to focus down units. Trying to perhaps finish off that healing ward, which is in the back line position. Too many Forest Troll Berserkers. Dreadlord says, you know what? I do not want to be in this fight. Let me head on out. Couple of grunts being brought over. One grunt will get taken out. Is it going to spot the other expansion off on the other side? Perhaps as the units are now making their rounds out again. Dreadlord sitting at plenty of mana right now. All the ghouls are pretty much gone. Obsidian statues, um, triple obsidian statues right here. What other units are being trained up? Gargoyles still getting added in, trying to go for mass gargoyles at this stage in the game. Two acolytes, that's all that it, there are mining off over here. Meanwhile, we're going to have five acolytes here. This main gold mine still has five minutes left of mining, but perhaps he'll just transition some over eventually. All right. All right. This is still a strange game. So what can Infi and Sowen really do to change things up here? Sowen is um, really focusing on these troll berserkers. He has the Kodo Beast and also True Shot Aura, which helps him increase that damage. Normally, zero, zero upgrades, but with the True Shot Aura and the Kodo Beast damage, those troll berserkers' are, damage is actually quite high. 
now. Um, at this point, though, we could be looking at perhaps for some reason going into abominations. There are a lot of, well, troll berserkers out onto the field. One or two disease clouds uh, could make a big difference. Um, in terms of just overall damage across multiple units and also high normal damage as well. Destroyers are upgraded 3-2. Gargoyles are upgraded 3-2 as well. As, the de as this destroyer doesn't have much ma or any mana here. There's a carry-on swarm. And that is going to be the problem. The hit and run tactics from that Dreadlord. If that Dreadlord is able to just continue to hit a bunch of units with that carry-on swarm. He does have a large amount of mana. Um, especially with reserve in that obsidian statue, he could be fine. All right, Watchtower quickly going to get destroyed. There it goes. Peon could get taken down. Does that give level 6? It does. Dreadlord now with the ultimate ability, taking down a Watchtower under construction and finally finishing it off with a Peon to get to the ultimate ability. All right, that Doom Guard, that stun followed by that carry-on swarm. If these troll berserkers are, uh, well, grouped together too much, that damage is really going to be coming in. A Death Knight, level 1 Death Knight, followed by Abominations now joining in on the fight. The Death Knight may just be in the back here, using Unholy Aura to move around the map much more quickly and efficiently. Infi, now making its rounds over. Dreadlord now going to make its way. What are we going to see? Are we going to see a carry-on swarm right there? Big, big damage across multiple units. Healing wave to try and counteract all of that again. Dreadlord still in a good spot. Obsidian statues perhaps should be trying to get more mana onto that Dreadlord. Dreadlord may be trying to rinse and repeat that strategy again. There it goes again. And what is going to happen now? Death Knight may be needing to get a Death Coil. Well, there is that stun that I mentioned moments ago. There's that Howl of Terror. Carry on Swarm could be coming through. Noah Quick Hex onto the Dreadlord. Massive fight coming through. Cyclone now picking up the unit as the, the do Infernal dealing so much damage just by standing simply next to it. All right, that Cyclone causing some major problems. Destroyer could devour magic that Cyclone, but perhaps it is still on cooldown. Gargoyles with that Howl of Terror causing major problems again as the Dreadlord trying to shoo its way through another carry on swarm there. Death Knight sitting at level two finally has enough to try and death coil units. The Infernal having, well, absorbing a lot of damage indeed. And you can, in fact, death coil an Infernal to heal it. All right, Gargoyle is now chasing after the units there. Pit Lord down to four or down to 600 hit points, takes on another carry on swarm. More damage being absorbed continually as the Dreadlord finally starting to get low on mana. All right, Howl of Terror being brought back over. The Destroyer could easily devour magic, all of that Howl of Terror, and now he has a whole bunch of mana and hit points to counteract. Howl of Terror coming back to haunt him. Potion of Invulnerability on the Pit Lord again as the units are now looking to back up once more. All right, Goblin Shredder could get taken down. There it goes. No real chance, but the Gargoyles are getting picked off as well. 76 supply compared to 32. Looks like Infi's not going to have any problems finishing things up. Thank you, Yang Li, for the subscription. I'm not even... Subs is that, that could be a yeah. YouTube subscription. Um, or actually I'll have to check that, but thank you for the subscription there. As we see the Troll Bat Riders diving on in onto the Gargoyles there. Inferno now making their way back over. Let's take a look. Is that Inferno going to be able to do very much more? No. All the units are retreating back. One Peon does spot this expansion over here on the bottom left. And economically, well, we do have trouble. So in is in so much trouble. Infi is just able to just roll over his opponent right now. Attack move is perhaps enough to engage and take out your opponent. Meanwhile, the armies are going to go ahead, head back home, regroup, reheal. We are looking at a couple of ziggurats now being placed down as well. And it may be just a amount of time before this army is ready to go once more. Stone form has not been upgraded. I don't see it being upgraded. This is triple crypt coming in from Infi. And well, at some point, I think Infi is just starting to play with his food. He knows that he has this game in the bag and he doesn't want to risk it um, or make any uh, uh, well, needless mistakes. Dreadlord at level six, the Infernal being re-summoned back out onto the field. 
um, as that Infernal dies, and uh, that in cooldown will be ready to go if that Dreadlord just drops another oh, yeah. Infernal amongst all of those units again, followed by a Carrion Swarm. That will be n almost death for many of those Troll Berserkers. All right, Gargoyles are all here, ready to go. Dreadlord did not launch a Carrion Swarm. The timing could have been a little bit better, perhaps couldn't see all the way due to, um, due to Nightfall and not being able to... Well, actually, see far enough. Your vision is impaired at night for the undead. Let's take a look back around across over here. Uh, Shadow Hunter, Pocket Great Hall, Scroll of Healing, trying to counteract. There goes a couple of troll bat riders hitting a whole bunch of units there. A lot of healing will be necessary. Death Knight may try to buy a Scroll of Healing to, well, just counteract all of that right there. All right, Pit Lord, Howl of Terror, Destroyer should easily be able to just completely devour magic that now using scroll of protection that is going to be a lot of problem indeed infernal was re-summoned uh, shadow hunter is in big trouble as well forced to use a scroll of healing in order to stay alive gargoyle scroll of protection death knight still has a scroll of healing to try and follow it up there's another howl of terror destroyer able to easily devour that magic but it would also devour the scroll of protection as well so he's not quite sure if he wants to do exactly that Dreadlord now looking to back away. Perhaps the Obsidian Statues will give in a little bit more mana as well as the Gargoyles making their rounds. Gargoyles dealing 64 to 100 damage per attack. Death Knight now being brought over. And this should be some easy damage here. Some easy experience. Gargoyles finishing off over here to the top right. And this is pretty much going to be the game with this expansion attempt not able to even get underway it will be two bases to one 72 supply compared to 30 and infi should take the game here all right are we gonna see one last fight howl of terror being used destroyer gonna be able to devour magic again now gonna be able to start diving in and dealing some of that additional splash damage you can take a look so much damage being dealt across all of those units uh, are we gonna perhaps be looking at a carry on swarm where is the dreadlord um as the Pit Lord is having a little bit of problems. All right, Gargoyle is looking to engage here. Troll Bat Rider is going to try and suicide. Dreadlord making its rounds. There's a Carry On Swarm finishing off some more units. The Infernal can lead the charge, but not more is needed. So in leaves the game. Infi is victorious. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.